Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, I no mask, man. They want your life here and shit. Me versus Bear, I think that bear bitch. Rule one, stamp the shit. He gotta stay here if he ain't airing shit. Still get a badge, every team roll serious. Vanguard, he watched the whip, no war zone experience. Chip, a mad fire, past liars. I give it to your family guy. Quagmire, Speed, Skirt, the Jags buy ya. Jag, 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 Jag. That was fire. Give it to your family. God, Quagmire. Jag, Jag. We got to talk, bro. I see where you're going. And listen, you are crashing out, my dog. You are crashing out. And I'm going to tell you why. If you see, you're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. You know what I'm saying? You can learn a thing or two if you listen to me. You... Or you're taking 10 steps backwards before you take one step forward. We've all done dumb shit in life. We've all made mistakes. We've all, you know, had shit happen to us, et cetera, et cetera. But it is to learn the lesson. Like Easy says, it's a lesson in every bar. You got to learn something. You can't make the same mistake twice out here. You got to move smooth. You keep, you, instead of gripping, you slipping, dog. You slipping. And I rock with you. You know what I'm saying? I spoke to you on the phone at times. You know what I'm saying? I heard bars that you had. All of that. Like, you a good dude in battle rap like when you tried to make your come up. But you are right now what we call crashing out. Um, you, I heard rumors. I said in the blog yesterday, I heard rumors about why you wasn't at the, uh, you know, the event the other day, let's do, let's get straight to cut the talk. Let's get straight to it. And I said, you know, when when more things come out and more, you know, more the truth. I don't like to speak on hyperbole. When more things come out, I'll speak. But I didn't think it would. This I did not think, Jag. I did not think it was going to happen like this. This is not the way I thought this was going to roll out. Um, you said. You know, I got rappers be like, you said, you said in your joint on the internet, on, on Twitter, and you said in an interview with, with Caps that you had something more important pop up and you just didn't show up. Family, family, you signed the contract, you agreed to be there, and then you felt the way because ARP put your names on the flyer and put a red line through it like, you know, you, you pull some bad business. And you got mad at that. And then you said that, you know, he didn't have to put the names on the card. I told him I'd do it again for free. It's not, see, the principle of the matter. I'm going to break down every round that I've sketched out. And I know there's people who be like, oh, you know, this person didn't show up here. Listen, I don't be, I don't know about all the no-shows. I'm not the no-show police. Y'all be like, oh, why y'all don't go hard on twerk when he choke or, or surf when he choke? Check my blog. I talk about every rapper. When they, when they do good, when they do bad, when it's not even about none of that right now. It's about this situation because it's involving a league owner. If a battle rapper did this shit to Smack, Organic, whoever it is, I keep it fair across the line. I would talk about it. You know why? Because in order to keep it a buck, you got to be honest. So I would have talked about this shit regardless. And especially big league. Because y'all niggas love to talk about little chokes and stumbles and battles and shit. Niggas who don't show up. This right here is big because this shit is happening as a main fucking event. Jag. If you want to be a 1SK, or if you want to be a Crucible guy, or you want to be somebody who just moves throughout all of the leagues, and you might show up in some places, you might not show up to some places, be Magic got Danny Myers. I said Danny Myers will win because he might not show up. If you want to be one of them, there's a whole line full of, if they show up, the nigga might not be there. There's a whole list of battle rappers that's like that. And when they don't show up, they do it so much that nobody even cares no more. I don't blog on these niggas because... It happens so much. You, you want to join them? I'm telling you, it'll happen to you. So, and it's a lot to unpack here. And I, like I said, in order to keep it a buck, you got to be honest. I like Jag. I like what he did versus Old Red. I seen him versus 40 Cal. I seen him versus Matt Hoffa. I uh, seen him, you know, ARP put you in mad positions. You battled mad times over there. You had more battles over there than I remembered. ARP was the one that was rocking with you, putting you in a position. Then you battle ill will and got body. You got, yo, your body was so bad. The only reason why Danny Myers got body of the year on him by real sick because he didn't rap at all. You rapped all three rounds and got destroyed. And when that happened, everybody.
everybody was like, yo, y'all wanna know what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked, you got killed, you got erased that night. And when that happened, everybody knew that you were supposed to battle Ars next. A lot of us already knew. You even said it. You were in the interview and said it. Niggas were saying, you ain't deserve that battle. Ain't no way in hell you deserve No, absolutely not Arsenal 3 0. ARP thought of the ultimate plan to get this battle to happen anyway, put you on a card that was not announced, no publicity, no fans, no media, nothing. You had a prime opportunity. The ball was in your hand at the two yard line with nobody within five yards and you fumbled it. That's exactly what you did. You, you, the ball was, that was a layup. Not to say you was going to win. You was going to at least get a fair shake. You was gonna get a fair shake in that battle. If Arsenal would've beat you, hey, you know, it was only 25 niggas in the building anyway. You know what I'm saying? The crowd reaction can't be that crazy. You was gonna get a layup. You would've looked good by just being there and getting through your material. <laughs> you had a layup, my nigga. You missed it. Now, ARP was the one that was fucking with you, dog. Like, he was really rocking with you when there was mad blogs out saying that, yo, you got destroyed, like, nigga, you, this is crazy, right? ARP was still rocking with you. He even put you in a car with no promotion just to keep the heat off your back because he could have put this out and promoted it, but he knows how it would have went. So he was looking out for your best interest, my dog. But when the, when the shoe was on the other foot, you wasn't looking out for his, bro, because if you would have told him what was going on and you said, yo, I had something bigger going on and I just couldn't be... That shit sound crazy, my dog. It sound crazy. It's like, yo, just because you had something bigger going on, you think easy, you think you think uh, easy to block captain being in Bel Air ain't bigger than a rap battle? He still battled. He still made it there while the filming and all of that. You think Hitman Holler being on Wildin' Out ain't bigger than battle rap? I could tell you what it is. He still makes it to his battles. He still doesn't. He doesn't tell ARP I'm not gonna be there. Because I got something bigger going on. It just doesn't work like that. And then you said you signed a contract. You thought it was for Max Out 3. I know damn well ARP is not sending out no contracts without the event name, address, date. He ain't about to just send no, no contract with no deposit and just be like, yo, we have an event coming up sometime soon, my nigga. I don't know what it's called, but yo, you gonna be there, bro. You got me? That's not going to happen, fam. And he's about to dis dissect your interview into a thousand pieces, son. He's going to do you better. Yo, all of ARP's ops in the past, right? The people that he done blogs and they had blogger beefs and shit like that, or whether it be him versus an artist, he's always had files, he's always had dates, times, and he could just break down people in a way that nobody else can. Do you think... If he has a contract from you that has the date of name, he's gonna break that shit down. It's gonna be your, your funeral gonna be beautiful. You seen what he did with Sirius? You seen like he's going to go crazy on you, and you kind of playing with him. If you would have said, "Yo, I had something big come up. I told ARP two weeks or so, or a week or so in advance. He knew about it. I gave him his bread back." It would have just been like a regular battle being canceled. Niggas would have been like, oh, well, this shit didn't happen. But when he don't know until like a couple of days before and like Arsenal done got paid. Let's say Arsenal, I don't even, you know what I'm saying? Let's just be lovely with Arsenal because he's a legendary battle rapper. Let's say Arsenal get 30 a battle, all right? I want 30 grand. You know, Arsenal is a legend. If he, I, I'm not, I don't know his price, but let's just say that's it. And he gets a deposit up front of half of that. Boom. It's 15 grand out of your out of your hands, throwing at Arsenal. And let's say Jag get a deposit. Let's say his deposit is like five. It's 20 grand between them two artists out the door. When they get to the event, they gotta get another third, no, another 20. You know, 15 for ours, five for him. On the back end. You say you're not gonna be there. Now he done lost his deposit that he gave Arsenal. Now you gotta, you know, maybe give him his deposit back. And now Arsenal's not gonna get a deposit for the other side of the battle. He just lost, literally, <laughs> he just <laughs> lost 25 grand. 12 on both sides, five from you, and that. Bro, no, nobody got time. Then you said that he should. He could have just not said nothing. Bro, that's his money. He's the paying consumer. Like, that doesn't work like that, bro. And I'm just saying, that, like, you know, I, I like what Jag tried to do. You know, he came back and battle rap, things like that. But, bro, if Hitman does this, 
we going that's the thing when you come into the game you're getting treated the same everybody across the board is getting treated the same if a, if hitman was to do this there'd be a million blogs on him if if goods did it it'd be him it don't matter who Ain't nobody gonna walk out on no ARP main event. Imagine if all of us buy the Mayweather fight and then fucking Mayweather on the way to the fight says, I had something bigger come up. I couldn't make it. <laughs> Could you imagine that shit? I had something bigger coming up. Sorry guys, I couldn't make it. Even though y'all here for me. That's why ARP put your name on the fly and put the red line through it. Cause he wanted to drive the point home that yo, this is who y'all, he, and then this is after the shit happened with KOTD. And I heard about the little Chris Brown shit where you got like a uh, Chris Brown whose name is spelled different. I was watching Unbiased Blog early. He said you got songs with a nigga named KRS Brown. <laughs> you sell it? <laughs> he had KRS. The bridge. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. He had KRS Brown. Not Chris Brown. That shit is crazy, my nigga. That's nasty work. Salute to Unbiased Review. You know what I'm saying? I checked that blog that he had yesterday. But, um, yo. You can't go out like that. You crashing out, man. You crashing out, bro. You are crashing out, and this is, it ain't gonna end well. I've seen them come, I've watched them go. I've been doing this shit for about five, six years now. I've seen battle rappers come and go. You will, trust me, when the fans, the fans fuck with the league owners that they rock with. If they rock with you, they are gonna ride with you till it's OV. Red Breed got, Almost 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. He got a following. Do you really want him to make that blog about you? That, that, that catch me slipping like my sneaker sliding. Let me get a grip, then we gonna apply that pressure on the wall, 90 keep applying. You want him to put that out on you? You know how many views that's gonna do? Do you know how many views that will do? Easily 100,000 in a day when he didn't know it was there 100,000. Bro. You know, don't be the next contestant though that summer jam screen because he's going to embarrass you. And Arsenal, he's talking about you could do it again. He's like, I could do the battle again. Jag, you don't know what Arsenal's schedule is. You don't know what he got going on. You don't know. And then if Arsenal takes the battle again, guess what he's going to want? Another deposit. You booked me for February 20th. You didn't book me for April 9th. Nigga, if I'm battling on April 9th, I'm getting paid for April 9th. Bro, you can't. Just you battling for free ain't gonna clean that up. And then, it's not about, it's really not about you not doing the battle. It's about the aftermath. Somebody that's protected you and tried to get you a look after you got killed by ill will. He could have pushed you to the side and nobody would have booked you. Except for the king of the die shit that fell through. But other than that, they wasn't gonna fuck with you no more. But, they're not gonna fuck with you. But, so, you had an opportunity to clean this up. If you go to somebody's crib, right, like you at somebody's house and y'all chilling, you know what I'm saying, Dr y'all drinking, y'all doing whatever y'all doing, and you knock a candle over and it falls on the glass and catches fire on the cabinet, right, like the papers and shit catch a fire, we're making up a situation. If you set a fire in my house, but you grab a cup of water and throw the water on it, you know, make sure the fire don't burn my house down, that's one thing. I'm going to be mad, like, bro, you clumsy as a motherfucker, like, why are you, like, get this shit together? That's how you're gonna feel, but you're still gonna have love for the person. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna not fuck with the person no more because they, you know what I'm saying? But if somebody go in your house, knock a candle down, see the candle catch fire, and just grab their coat and walk out the front door, don't even attempt to do nothing, just let your shit burn. That's what you did. Yeah, you let ARP shit burn, bro. You let his shit burn right, right in front of you, like, fuck it, ain't my business. That's his fault. No, dog, you gotta stay there and help clean that up. And just to be like, yo, that's my man, that's my man, bro. And this thing is like, Jag is a street nigga. If you if you do some shit like that with ARP on some street shit like bro, <laughs> yo you gotta you gotta make that right with him. He should have had his deposit back, but ARP ain't the type of nigga that. Cause the thing is what you don't understand, right? You don't understand the all of the avenues of people that lose money here. The the venue there's no venue, so it was letting that out, so that's fine. But the people who are um who are promoting the battle, the the league. You're promoting a card without a main event on it. How the fuck am I gonna sell that? I mean, I'ma still, I'm still rock it because I seen uh, Reed versus Ill, I wanna see that and things like that, but that you you ruin it that way. Now you're ruining this man's back end. Now you ruin, you know what I'm saying? Like it's mad shit that's mad bread that's just wasted because you said you had something better going on. You had something better going on. It's like me missing like my man Showtime SP when he got married in August. 
That's like me saying I'm gonna come to his wedding and then be like, yo, I'm not gonna go because I had something better going on. It was a, and I get it, you know, sometimes we don't get the world changing money that could change our families and shit like that or offers to get it. But you didn't find out about that two days before the event or a week before the event. You probably find out a little minute before, like when you could have tried to make this shit right. But you can't tell a man the day or so before his event <laughs> and think that hey, he gonna be like, cool, man, we ain't gotta say nothing. He already put you on the car without saying nothing. The nigga put you on the motherfucking car without saying nothing. He did that already. You think he was not gonna say? So now you just you just gonna rob me with no motherfucking mask. You gonna just rob me. You <laughs> you didn't give me nothing. You didn't show up. Now you want me to not say it, even though I put you on the car without saying it and made you main event. My nigga. That shit's just not gonna work, Jack. Like, come on, my nigga. You gotta get it together. Right now, you crashing out, man. You crashing out. Yeah, and league owners are seeing this. You think, and, and I even heard that it, nigga, he, he, he got some situation with URL, so they made him back out. I don't know if that's the truth. I ain't really got no comment. But if I see you on a car coming up, like a little, little if niggas, <laughs> if niggas slide you on a super fight, oh, I'm a no. Oh, that's it right there. That's nailing the motherfucking coffin. If that, <laughs> you better not slide on no motherfucking. But nigga, you better not slide on no motherfucking resolution, nigga, or whatever that shit is. You, that'd be some dirty shit, Jack, man. You gotta get it together, my nigga. You know, you know better than that, man. When ARP was fucking with you after you got body, bro. You got destroyed. He was still rocking with you. He was the one of the only niggas left. That nigga was one of the probably niggas that was only on the stage with you. He was like, oh, man, I don't know, man. I can't go to the next one. I can't take off work. This nigga ARP was still behind you. He was willing to ride that bitch till the wheels fell off. He was willing to he was willing to crash and burn with you, my nigga. But you went to crash and you jumped out the car and let the car keep going. <laughs> That's how it crashed. You just let the shit keep going. Rare breed entertainment is gonna be alright, but he just wanted to make an example out of you. This is what he's doing. And this is not even this not even the blog yet. This is he just wanted to make an example out of you. Like, yo, this is the nigga who I invested in. Come on, fam. I'm going to just leave it there, man. Jag, you got to get this shit right.